Netherlands final at the top of your screen we have Jiska Rifuen and Anique Van Koot. A miss hit there from Riff Ewan. So if you're just getting up to speed, uh, Riff Ewan is the bronze medalist in the singles draw. And this woman on your screen, Esther Vagir, unsurprisingly won her 470th straight match. as a singles player to take gold here at the Paralympic Games, her fourth gold medal. So the shot was long. And the other woman on court, uh, I'll introduce you to her when she, uh, there she is, just to the left of your, of your screen. That's Anique Van Koot. She's the silver medalist of the singles draw. So we've got the gold, silver and bronze medalists. And then we also have Marjolaine Boos. Uh, playing with Esther Vergeer. Lovely shot. So if you're wondering about the rules of wheelchair tennis, it's all the same as able-bodied tennis. However, the ball can bounce twice. It's just that the first bounce must be within the confines of either the singles or the doubles line, depending on, of course, which sport you're playing. And this being the doubles means they have the extra space. The first bounce must go in. The second bounce doesn't need to. So that brings up game point for Riff Ewan and Van Coot. This is the third of four matches on centre court at Eaton Manor today on day 10 of London 2012. Game goes for game. So Boos Vigia raced to a 5-1 lead in the first set. And after this match, we've got the men's singles gold medal match. I'll tell you more about those players shortly. So Vigia just on the right of the screen there. There's Riff Ewan on the left of the screen and Van Coot on the right. All these players hail from the Netherlands. Such a strong program they have running in their country at the moment. The lob gets over Riff Ewan. She came into the net 
in an attacking phase of play. Perfectly placed. Shot just inside the baseline, so not playing the pair on that stage. Review and serves again. Oh, lovely shot. Great angle there from Ruth Ewan. And Booth unable to make up the ground required. 15.30. 15 So that brings up a break point and a set point, or two set points for Boos and Vagia. So Riff Ewan trying to hammer boost there, but didn't work. So they flinched the first set six games to one. And if you're wondering what the prospects are for these two pairs of, of doubles, Riff Ewan Van Coot beat Boos Vergeer in the British Open final uh, this year. 2-6-7-5-6-2 and also in the women, Wimbledon semi-final 3-6-6-3-6-4. So both those matches, they lost the first set and won in three. Rithu and Van Cooch are actually the second seeded doubles pair. And Vagir won gold with Marcus Schmidt in Sydney 2000 and Athens 2004 and then silver in Beijing in 2008 with Ruth Ewan. But So this time she's chosen to pair with Boos who's the number five seed or was the number five seed in the singles draw. And that means they are the boost for gear combination is the top seed in the doubles draw. So probably a few too, unfor too many unforced errors for Riff Ewan and Van Coot. Managing to hit some winners though. And the serving percentage down for Riff Ewan and Van Coot as well. Thirty-nine minutes, the duration of that first set. I can tell you we've reached a top of 27 degrees. It should be on the way back down now, but very warm out on centre court. A light breeze. A beautiful day, absolutely glorious in London. A little bit of cloud cover coming over now, but we had perfect blue skies earlier today. So this is Boos serving to open the second set. Maybe having a little bit of trouble with the sun there with that shade almost covering the court. The sun will be catching her in the eye. She should have better luck over the other side of the court where she's in complete shade.
So you can hear them communicating on both ends of the court. A miss hit there from the gear. See how Riff Ewan whips herself around so quickly after that shot. So Boos hitting it well out of court and we have a triple break point on Boos's serve. First game, second set. Boos and Bagheer won the first, 6-1. Lovely shot straight at the body of Riff Ewan. Didn't have much hope of getting that back. So they claw back one break point. So they get the break, first game in the second set. And as I mentioned a short time ago, Riff Ewan and Van Coote have a history of losing the first set and uh, winning the next two against this pair. So it'll be very interesting to see how this second set transpires. Oh, miss hit Thank from Boost there. So interesting, interestingly, Boost and Van Coot, who are, of course, at opposite ends of the court, share the same coach. They're both coached by Ard Zwan. serves. So the backhand's long, bringing up game point for Riff Ewan and Van Coot. So now we've got plenty of shade over court that will be Welcome for the players. Just makes it a little bit cooler out there. And uh, the sun no longer a factor when you're tossing the ball for a serve. 40, Double fault there from Riff Ewan. So nice work there by Boos and, uh, sorry, Refuen and Van Coote. Getting the break and then holding serve. So two love in the second set. In this all Netherlands final.
Another miss hit from Boost, so she's making a few errors. Boost is 24 years of age. Van Koot is the youngest on court. She's 22. Backhand into the net. She's trying to get that angle. Just didn't quite come off. So that brings up game point for Boos and Vigia. So Boos and Vigia on the scoreboard, 2-1 in the second set. Refuen and Van Coot up with the early break. At that time, uh, they held serve with Vigia serving. So a little more comfortable on centre court at Eaton Manor now, as I mentioned up to 27 degrees today and just a very light breeze, 28% humidity. Lovely day, but many people at Olympic Park seeking out the shade because that sun certainly had a fair bit of sting in it. And there are some nice shaded areas, particularly down near the water uh, at Olympic Park, so that's been nice, but quite hot to be sitting up in the stands. You see all the Dutch supporters there in their orange. And, of course, we do have another match after this. It is the men's singles gold medal match. Stefan Houdé from France is playing Shingo Kaneda from Japan. Kaneda is the defending champion in the men's singles draw. Lovely shot. Review and enjoyed that. Plenty of touch and nice and close to the net with a great angle.
Oh, lovely shot from Vigia. She attacked the net and volleyed to Van Coot. Oh, nice shot from Ruth Ewan. It was a passing shot, and it got past both of them. 30, 50. Vigia just not able. She wasn't far off it, not quite able to get to it. So you notice that Vagia is just moving, moving, moving all the time. A very imposing figure on the court for, a, for her opponents. Smash there at the net. Lovely shot. So that'll tie scores up at 30 all in the fourth game of the second set. Shot there from Boos. 30-40. So that brings up break point for Boos and Vigia to level it all at two all in the second set. Okay. So that levels the games, the set at two games apiece. Two games all. Go into the net from Van Coot. You do get the sense that Rufuan and Van Coot are electing to hit it to boost a little more than Vigia, simply because Vigia is so clearly a superior player and has such a fine array of shots to choose from. Nice shot there from Boos. So she's warming into it. Whips that forehand around, spinning her chair in the process. So the shot is wide in a relatively straightforward service game for Boos. And she'll take great confidence from holding her serve this time. 
after having a serve broken last time. Miss hit there from Van Coot. So Vagia and Boost now in the lead in this second set. So this is turning out to be a tussle in the second set. So 6 1, Vagia Boost in the first set. Refuen and Van Coot need to win this set to stay in the match, of course, it being the best of three. Gia, such an experienced campaigner now. She's won her fourth Paralympic gold medal. She won in Sydney, Athens, Beijing, and now here in London. And it never really looked Time. in doubt. She won in straight sets against Van Coot. Lovely shot down the middle. She's so dangerous from any part of the court. The gear makes it look effortless. Oh, it's a lovely rally. The gear again coming up with the perfect shot selection. She's really enjoying this. Moving around the court very well, both pairs of players. It's a tough shot to make, and she was at the net. Credit to Van Coot, she, she made it to the shot, just couldn't quite get her racket to it. So that brings up another break point for Boos and Vigia. The double break now in the second set. One break uh, effectively cancelled out the break that uh, Rufuan and Van Coot got in the opening game of this set. But now 
They've managed to build on that. So they got the break back. Now they've gone another up. And it's now all of a sudden 4-2 in the second set. This for the gold medal in the women's doubles competition. Backhand there. So Boos and Vigia beginning to move tantalizingly close to a victory in the second set and hence the gold medal. Vigia serving. Forty love. So that brings up game point. This for a 5-2 lead in the second set. Some rare errors here from Vagia. She's Juice. pushed it wide, so Juice on Vagir's serve. Oh, lovely smash there, and Ruth Ewan enjoyed that. So they've clawed their way back into this game, and that brings up a break point. So it was a good shot from Boos, forcing the error there. She really pushed the baseline with that forehand. 
and made it difficult for Van Coot to pick it up on her racket. It's right at the base of her chair. Very nice again from Ruth Ewan. She's playing very well. So that brings up the second break point in this game. So this would be very, very handy for Ruth Ewan and Van Coote if they can manage this break. This is their second attempt. So again, Bruce the gear save the break point. Oh, beautiful shot. Van Coot gets it back. Yep. Lovely, lovely play. And it was really Boos who set up that shot initially. She hit two strokes that were literally putting Van Coot under an enormous amount of pressure. And then Vagir came into play with that beautiful backhand down the centre of the court. So Boos Vagir now leading the second set, five games to two. And Rufuan and Van Coot would be very disappointed with that. They had their opportunities. They had two chances to break serve and really be in this second set. Now 5-2 makes it look all the more difficult. Coming up next on Centre Court, as I mentioned, we have the men's singles wheelchair tennis final. Stefan Houdet is playing. He won a gold medal in the doubles in Beijing in 2008. And uh, Shingo Kanida, who is the defending singles champion from Beijing in 2008. I'll show you some highlights in the second set. Time. Oh. 
Van Coot serves. Lovely shot. So working very well together as a team, Van Coot pushing the baseline and keeping the players back. And then Refuen coming through with two, a combination of a basically like a one-two punch, really. Down the centre and then smashing across to the side. Fertino. All right, so with Van Coot serving. That brings up game point for Refuen and Van Coot to take it to 5-3 and stay in this match. Now yeah, it's a wayward shot, so Refuen and Van Coot hold serve. And now, Boos and Vagir will uh, have the chance to come out and serve for this match. Boos to serve. Attacking play there. Well, that's a costly error because all of a sudden Boos and Vagir are 30 love as they're serving for this second set. Refuen, frustrated.
that brings up match point. So an unforced error there from Boos. Well, they've done it. Bagheer has a golden double. Gold in the singles, gold in the doubles with Boos. So Marjolaine Boos and Esther Begeer thank the crowd, the enthusiastic Dutch supporters who've come out to watch this all Netherlands final. The women all know each other very well. Begeer and Riff Ewan have played together in the doubles before and been successful. But this time it's the boost for gear combination that wins gold at London 2012. Smiles say it all. They're clearly delighted with their win. And coming up shortly on Paralympic Sport TV, we've got the men's singles gold, uh, gold medal match. It's likely to be a very, very close one indeed. The defending champion, Shingo Kunida, faces the top seed, Stefan Hude. It's the last wheelchair tennis match at Eaton Manor today. I should say, the last match at Eaton Manor for the London 2012 Paralympic Games, the men's singles match. As we bring you some highlights from this doubles gold medal match. Such a successful country in the wheelchair tennis at the London 2012 Games. So the gear goes home with two gold medals. Riff Ewan will have a silver and a bronze. Van Poot, a silver and a bronze. So the Netherlands winning gold, silver and bronze in the women's singles draw.
A glorious day at London 2012, the perfect day to be spectating outdoor sports, as long as you've got some sunscreen and a hat, of course. 27 degrees was the top today, humidity 28%. And as you can see, the breeze has picked up a little bit from earlier in the day. The country flags flowing in the breeze. And this, well, this is the end of the women's wheelchair tennis competition. And just the one match left, it's the men's singles coming up very shortly. First, though, we're going to have the victory ceremony for the women's doubles. And it's a great venue, Eaton Manor. This isn't the only court there. There's a number of outdoor courts, but of course, centre court, the biggest in terms of seating. And it's a really nice setup that they have out there. It's quite close. Everything's quite close at Olympic Park, but reasonably close to the Riverbank Arena. In fact, if you're walking from the main stadium, you'll walk past the copper box and then the Riverbank Arena and Eaton, Man uh, Eaton Manor is right up the end of the park. Doesn't take too long to get there though. And then across the canal you can see the velodrome, the BMX track and the basketball arena where we've had the wheelchair rugby happening today and the medals will be decided tomorrow for the wheelchair rugby. So the only matches tomorrow uh, we have a uh, football seven aside and the wheelchair rugby and of course in the athletics we have the marathon, the wheelchair marathon, which will be fantastic. David Weir for Great Britain competing and uh, aiming to make it four from four gold medals. That would be an incredible story if he manages to do that. But uh, Australia's Kurt Fernley, he is racing as well and he is going to want to win it. So it'll be a great contest tomorrow, the marathon. And then, of course, the closing ceremony is tomorrow night at the main stadium, and that promises to be a great event as well. Coldplay. Very excited about seeing them play. And on Monday, if you're in London, there is an Olympic parade for the GB Olympic team, taking in some of the beautiful sights going past Trafalgar Square. And I think it runs, it starts just after lunch, I believe, and winds up around three in the afternoon. So go online and check the details of that if you're interested in, in seeing some of the very successful athletes. I'll bring you up to date with how the medal tally is going. At London 2012 and China. Well, gee, last time I checked, they had around 160 medals. Now they've got 214 medals, an unassailable lead now of 86 gold medals, 67 silver and 61 bronze. Great Britain is, on, is second on the medal table with 33 gold, 42 silver and 43 bronze. Then comes Russia, third. The Ukraine is fourth. Australia is fifth, the United States of America sixth, and then Germany, Brazil, Poland, and the Netherlands. So the Netherlands, well, they've just added another medal to their tally. So 10 gold, 10 silver, 19 bronze. And the Dutch fans dressed in their vibrant orange. You can see them gathering by the side of the court there, hoping to uh, perhaps have a word with their favourite players. So preparations almost complete for the medal ceremony for the women's doubles tournament at London 2012. And it's going to be a beautiful evening. Now the forecast for London tomorrow is also to be quite warm, 27 degrees. And there's the slight chance of a shower tomorrow evening. It does sound unlikely. I was reading the forecast earlier. So 
Hopefully the closing ceremony won't be disrupted. But as I mentioned, we'll have the medals of the uh, football and uh, the marathon and also the wheelchair rugby all tomorrow.